Hi, I'm Bakhtar. I'm Cypress. And today we're going to work on developing basic technique into more advanced combat. To start this off, we're going to go through the seven basic sword fighting shots, how to execute them well, and then taking that technique and making it more advanced in some way. So let's begin. So the first basic swing is your basic leg chop. Cypress will demonstrate it now to my front leg. Exactly. Now, one way to make this shot slightly more advanced and effective will be to make the shot more vertical, or arcing the shot downwards to the leg target. To use a more arced or vertical style strike to Cypress's front leg. If I go for a hacking horizontal motion, I will expose much more of my body in the process of swinging. Alright, so make your leg shots more vertical. They'll be faster and more precise. The next basic shot that we'll cover is the hip chop. Cypress will go first, going just under my arm guard and directly horizontally chopping my hip. Now we're going to switch spots. I can do the same thing single sword if I get low enough to make my horizontal shot level with her hip or buttocks area. Notice it doesn't take much motion at all and sometimes you can slide right under someone's guard when they think they already have the shot blocked. Now, if we progress this shot to the next level, we'll make it a hip wrap. A wrap shot inherently breaks at the wrist and turns the shot over using the back side of your blade to strike the enemy target. So in this case, it's making an angle around your enemy's defenses. You'll notice hip wraps are much more effective when you can get in close and you have a surefire shot at your enemy. And at advanced levels, usually you'll always want to throw a close fake in order to execute a hip wrap with confidence that it's going to land. If you have them paused or stunned up high, pin their shield with a stab or a fist or a shield, you can actually pin the security of the wrap taking place a step before you're at the proper range to throw the shot. Next up is the drop shot. The drop shot is very short and very simple. Merely by pulling my elbow down, I can strike my enemy's front shoulder and front arm on their guard side without even extending my arm at all. Now granted, usually there's a shield in the way. So this shot isn't doing a whole lot when your opponent has a large shield of any sort. If you can get them to move a shield slightly though, it will sometimes open up a very short, simple, snappy drop. They'll get right behind your opponent's defenses. Let's watch this from another view. I'm going to demonstrate an advanced alternation on the drop shot in terms of where you position your grip. Grip your sword with your thumb on the back side of it, choking up tightly, and turning your grip so that your sword is pointed 45 degrees inward right towards there. and around your opponent. Put it back in. Holding at this angle will strike behind the opponent's guard while still throwing the general motion of a straight up and down vertical strike. You reach 
behind your opponent's guard to do so. The next shot up is the shoulder wrap. Just like the hip wrap, the objective is to get behind my opponent's shield with a weapon angle that will strike their backside. In this case, I'm extending my arm past their shield edge if possible and snapping the wrap of the drop shot downwards on the back of my opponent's shoulder blade. Next basic shot is the short cross. The short cross is used to initiate combat with your opponent, making them startled to do something, or else consecutive firm short crosses may power your opponent's weapon hand down, exposing their arm or shoulder to demonstrate. Next shot up is the high cross. The high cross involves reaching above and over your opponent's guard and snapping your sword down and inwards to their arm, shoulder, or torso. As you can see, reaching to your opponent's inside will get into their, into their open slots, but it involves a lot of reach and exposure from yourself very easy to get struck while trying to execute a high cross. So to demonstrate, Cypress will do a high cross to me. And you can see how she really has to reach up over my guard in order to get at me, which will often make me tempted to try to fire the same shot back. The unfortunate side of this shot is it results in simultaneous deaths very frequently. We want to avoid this. With more advanced combat, we can get out of the habit of throwing the shot that's so tempting because it strikes an open, swinging shoulder. In our sparring today, we're going to be using a post-leg technique. That means if either of us strikes each other in the leg, we're merely going to call it out and stand on that leg as a pivot foot. Right post. Yep. Right post.
Good. 